What is up everybody? Here with a pretty big movie haul today from uh, local Half Price Books. All of these movies only cost me $34, so you can't beat that. Gotta love, uh, gotta love thrifting and finding those good deals. But uh, the first movie I picked up was one I've been looking for, and that is uh, Narrow Margin to expand my Gene Hackman collection. Uh, heard this was a really good movie. Trailer looks good. Uh, a lot of these trailers for these older Gene Hackman movies actually look really good, which is one of the reasons why I want to pick them up. He's usually a very intense actor on screen, and uh, I do like that, kind of like Tommy Lee Jones. Then in their clearance section for $2, I got House of Gucci. Uh, not a big Adam Driver fan. You know, there's a couple actors in this that I'm interested in, but mainly I got it because of uh, Ridley Scott directing it. Uh, don't know if it's a good movie or not. You know, comment down below if uh, you've ever seen this one before. Because this is a complete blind buy that I just saw for $2. Then I found Bohemian Rhapsody on 4K for $2. So this was a no-brainer to pick up. Never seen it before, but for $2, and I heard nothing but amazing things about this movie. So I am ecstatic to have found this one. Uh, then I found Trainwreck for $2. I uh, heard this was an okay movie, but uh, the fact that John Cena was in it was one of the main reasons I wanted to pick this one up. And it does have a pretty huge stacked cast. So uh, kind of looking forward to checking this one out. Uh, then I found a movie that a lot of people were saying I absolutely had to pick up. And that's The Big Lebowski. A lot of people say this is one of the best comedies of all time. I'll believe it when I see it. This could probably be way better than Kingpin, which I picked up uh, in an earlier haul. So we'll have to find out about this one. Uh, the next one kind of brings me back to my childhood, and that was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 for only $2. Had to pick it up. Uh, this was my favorite of the three. I liked the humor in this one compared to the seriousness of the first two. But uh, looking forward to checking that one out again. I also found Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze. So again, had to pick it up for nostalgia purposes. You know, sometimes you just got to relive those childhood memories. And then I also found the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. All for $2 a piece. So they were no-brainers to pick up. Uh, then I found Scorpion King Book of Souls. Uh, trying to pick up these movies because uh, they look interesting. You know, those adventure kind of epic type movies. You know, I know some of the supporting cast for this one. I know they're straight to DVD and all that stuff, so I'm not expecting this to be like the best movie ever. But for straight to DVD releases, I'm hoping they're they're pretty good. Uh, the next one I found was Gerard Butler in Last Seen Alive. Uh, I like his movies. That he's definitely uh, him and Jason Statham are probably the two kings of uh, old school action movies these days. So definitely had to pick this up. Uh, Gerard Butler usually always does a solid job, so I'm not too nervous about this pickup. Uh, then I found the Lego movie on Blu-ray for $2. Generally don't like cartoons, but with all the voice acting in this one, uh, for $2 I was going to give it a shot. Why not? Comment down below if you've ever seen this one before, if it's any good. Uh, then I found an entire se third season of Community for $2. Heard this was a phenomenal show. Never seen it personally. So don't know what to expect. Hoping it's as good as everyone says it is. Especially if it's only $2. You know, I'd be ecstatic then. Uh, then I picked up another movie that people consider to be a classic. And that's Reservoir Dogs. Only $2.00. Worth the pickup. I'm not really a big Quentin Tarantino fan. So I'm going in with some low expectations for this one just because I'm not a Quentin Tarantino fan. 
But you never know, this one could uh, jump up and surprise me. The only movie of his so far that I've really enjoyed has been Django Unchained. So we'll see about this one. Next one was a movie I wasn't really expecting much out of. I don't know if it's worth picking up uh, the first and the third one or the first and the second one of this series, Left Behind World at War. Comment down below if they are worth picking up. I don't even know if this one's worth watching or not. I'm not really a big religious movie guy. But, you know, comment down below if it's a good watch or not. And then lastly, I picked up Love, Simon. Uh, this looks like one of those controversial drama growing up teenager movies. I don't know if it's going to be any good. I, this was just a, this was $2 on Blu-ray and I knew the cast. It's not even certified fresh or anything like that. So I don't know if this is really going to be any good or not. But that does it for this movie haul. If you like content like this, please like and subscribe. Your support is much appreciated. I am also over on Letterboxd. The link to that is in the, uh, profile description of this channel. Otherwise, until next time, guys.